Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're playing 64. So, I don't really know much about this game. Um, I watched a little bit of people play it. Uh, where are you? I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. Alright, what do you see? <laughs> well, not much. There's this machine here. It's kind of familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. Uh, in case anyone's wondering, I'm reading down there. Um... So then I just have to click. So you have to like click to destroy these things and eventually they'll break. And I don't think this is really like a roguelike, but I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, what machine? Hold on, maybe I can't, wait. Uh, tell me you're not touching some random machine right now. It's working, it just created something. A huge block cube, it's so smooth, I really wanna break it. Are you high? I now have 64 stones. Actually, I have 255. Uh, hey, I found a yellow stone. Good for you, man. <laughs> Wait, yellow stone? You know, it's got a volcano there. Just, okay. Bad joke, okay. Okay. So I need 512, and then I can get something called a destabilizer. Um. Uh, if I can get... So now I can buy a destabilizer. To extract you stores as fast additional cooler to increase the effect. Can I like rotate? Is there like a way to rotate the camera? Uh no. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Uh build something to break these cubes more easily if the cube shows up in an adjacent cell, even diagonally, it should work. So yeah, so if I put this, I could put it like here, but I think I'd rather put it here, so then it doesn't like, um, so then it doesn't interfere with anything. So I'll put that there. Still feels like I have to click a lot, but... It's fine. I really need to get an auto clicker for some of these games. Because, like, these games, uh, I don't know why, the games lately have just required a lot of clicking. And, okay, let's go with the uh, butterfly bug. Oh, we got a gold piece. Oh, wait, it's not working. That's right. I have to give it that. There we go. That is way faster, actually. Okay. You have to give it a gold block for it to even work. I'm not even reading through the dialogue. I probably should be, but... Triples the power of resource crushing process. Requires 64 to op... Whoa, it needs 64 of these to work? Okay, that is... Wow. So if I put that there... If I click this thing, does it go faster? No, you actually have to hold down left click. Okay. Let me check out some of the other machines. So there's a reverse valve. It prevents the cube ejecting machine from resetting to the original position if placed next to it. Oh, but it needs... Oh, wait. Oh, it just needs that. Okay. So I can put that next to it, and then that'll prevent it from going down. Or, like, uh, going... Not going down. Going back up. That's what I meant to say. Okay. Clicking as fast as I can. Okay. Hold down left click, and then I go back to this. Oh! Dig, dig down 64 meters. So now there's... Is this just more of that stuff? It probably is. Oh, and it, it like, breaks over time. Okay, well, let me put this... I'm thinking here. Or maybe here would be better? Let's put it there. Okay. 
Um, can give it that, and then so it says it should prevent it from going back up. Yeah, so it is preventing it from going back up. Okay. So that'll make things a little bit faster. Now, only problem now being that I uh, am unable to. Oh, okay, gotta feed it another one. Another one. Yeah, only problem being now that uh, uh, it will slowly deteriorate at that thing, but it's fine. I'm actually gonna get another destabilizer, because why not? I wonder if having multiple destabilizers on, like, the same block, if that, like, does anything. Oh, yeah, let me give you that. There you go. Oh, okay. Um, industrial destabilizer. I probably want to get that at some point. I wonder when am I going to get to the point where like things are a little bit, um, a little bit more automated. That's what I would like happening. And the sooner the better, obviously. Because then I won't have to be clicking so much. Okay, so I got a channel cooler now. So let's put that like there. Wow, oh, yeah, that is way faster. Oh, that's missing one. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even realize that the, the blocks inside of the machines will get smaller. Along with, like, whenever it's, uh, doing its thing. Okay, yeah, this manual clicking is... Okay, now if I do that, is it twice as... Is it even faster now? I think so. Feels like it. I assume it's faster now. I need to move my mouse so I can get a... Oh, okay, I'm knocking everything off my desk because I'm moving my mouse pad. Yeah, everything is breaking. But at least that means I can just replace everything all at the same time, basically. Okay. Now there's there's an exo aux auxiliary pump. Is that what is that what this is? Is an exo auxiliary pump? Guess we'll find out. I'm just going to do normal clicking. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Upgrade provides pressure to a source channel. If placed next to uh, additional pumps, do not increase the pressure in the source channel. So that's a, just an upgrade for it, and it needs 8 to function. Ah, so that, that'll start generating. Okay. But do not... Sort. Okay. Wait, so if I put... Another one down. I want to put one there. Okay, hold on. Okay, 
Okay, things. If I do that. I wonder if those coolers have any effect. Yeah, it does say additional do increase the effect, so... Can I move them? Guess not. purple. Oh, extracting channel. That's what it's called. Now if I get 512 of that deep purple stuff that I just obtained, I might finally be able to... Oh, and now I can use that to produce armor. Place next to the first to operate. Oh, okay. I got another one. I'm getting a bunch. Okay, well, let me destroy that then. I don't know if I could have just put it on top. No, I can't. So if I do that, then it should start destroying them, right? Very slowly, okay. If I add that, does that make it go faster? Maybe? I think so. Okay, it's not the best automation, but... Things definitely need a little bit of work. get uh yeah okay industrial destabilize get that guy put that down Okay, so things are going things are going well so far I would say. Oh 
Oh my gosh, I'm getting a ton of those resources now. Is this done? It hasn't actually done that much. I wonder if I should get rid of the channel coolers like these things here. Because they're just kind of taking up more space at this point. Sure. Might leave it at this for now. But I do want to get uh, probably some more stabilizers. How's this one doing? It's doing well. So, yeah, this entropy thing is going. And then what is it? I need 512 for another channel thing. Does this drain it if there's no blocks next to it? Probably not, right? Like, I, I wouldn't imagine it would. I like how the dialogue is still just going. Oh... Alt. Ah, okay. So it's teaching me key binds over here and like different information, but I'm not really reading it. Um, probably should be. Ah, okay. So now I can get another auxiliary pump. But that, or no, that doesn't do anything. That's right. Okay, never mind. Um, I don't think I really want this, at least not right now. I think I'd rather another extracting channel and then put an auxiliary pump on that. I wonder what the best strategy is for this. I'm not entirely sure yet. I'm trying to figure it out. But yeah, I'm just not entirely sure. Oh, okay, there we go. We gotta add another one. Because this thing is, is very slow. I mean, it's going by itself. So, but I'm just trying to think. Uh. Okay, let me just let me just mine up these resources and try to get the another extracting channel. I need five hundred and twelve. Yeah, I'm getting way more of these resources than the uh, than the Yellowstone, the Elmerine. So yeah, I can definitely see the usefulness of the other thing, of the uh, enrichment of uh, that. Because you get so much more of this purple stuff than that yellow stone. Okay. I'm going to put it probably here. And then I can put the auxiliary pump. Wait, why can't... Oh, do I not have enough resources? Wait, what?
A. I'm. Oh, I'm stupid. I have to do it that way. My bad. I was wondering why it wasn't working. That's why. Because you have to put it as like an upgrade. You can't just put it as a straight up thing. Um, oh yeah. Okay, so it's going very slowly. So we are going to need a couple of channel coolers. Ah, gosh dang it. Okay, there we go. That should probably be pretty good. I can put, I can get another, some more destabilizers at some point. Sound effects in this game, though. Sound effects are crazy. It's all like mining stuff, it's so cool. I can get some more industrial destabilizers eventually. Yeah, I do need a lot more of that Elmerine stuff, though. So I wonder if it. I, I wonder if that this one, the industrial destabilizer. I wonder if that um, uses the Elmerine at the same speed as the normal Disabilizers, but it just provides, obviously, um, four times crushing power compared to just the, uh, the two times. I wonder if that's how that works. So, like, comparatively, it uses the, El uh, the Elmerine at the same speed, but it just provides more power. I wonder if there's a way to like automatically replenish like the stuff. That would be really nice to have something to auto replenish. Am I supposed to play reacts? Am I supposed to put this like in here? Like, am I supposed to put it in like with the with the rest of them or something? Let me. What, what was the button again? Wasn't all. It was. Oh, yeah, okay. 
Let me do that, and let me see if that does something. Oh, no. I just have to give it that. And then over time, it'll... Okay. I see. I'm just trying to see what I can do to kind of progress the storyline a little bit. See if I can, you know, obviously unlock some more stuff. I'm curious what all I can actually unlock in this. I wonder how much uh, the El of the Elmerine actually gets produced by um, by the vat. Because I put in like 32 of the, the purple stone and then uh, like 256 of the, the black stone. That's just what I'm going to call them. I'm just going to call them by their colors um don't do that in real life kids um but but yeah i, I mean that that's a lot so i don't i mean i'm thinking it'll probably just produce like 32 of the yellowstone but if i, I guess if i'm lucky maybe i'm wrong and it'll actually produce more i guess we'll see I, that that actually produced a lot. Okay. At least I think it did. Seems like it did. Okay, let's put that back in there. Okay. Things are going well so far. Definitely want to destroy that vat when it's done, so then I can put another destabilizer there. Do I want to get another extraction channel soon? Maybe. I'm not sure. Trying to think of where I would even probably put it, but I, mean, I guess I do have some ideas where I could, as to where I could put it. Okay, so I'm at I'm in like the seventy range for the Elmerai, and I want to see how much gets produced by that bat. Okay, 80 range now. Okay, now into the 20s, because I had to refill that. Whoa, okay. So it must, it must just get 64,000 subs. So it must, yeah. So if you put in two hundred and fifty-six of that, it so it it seems like it like actually just gives you six hundred and fifty-six. Okay, that is crazy. Uh, I'm not too sure where to put this. I'm kind of thinking maybe like in the corner here because I don't think I'm really gonna do much in the corners. I have a bit of an idea for what kind of setup I want to have going um, with this. So. Because what I'm thinking is have... I really wish that there was something that would auto-refill, though. Oh! I got another resource. New resource. Okay, now there's a pump station. Okay. 
Money from uh, Kara Knight said it was in the presence of Catalyst. Okay. Whatever that means. Okay. Okay. Anything that I can currently build doesn't look like it. Okay. What's the depth? 467? Okay. Now I can get another extracting channel if I want. Which I probably will. So now there is something that I could build with four, right? Um, I think it was down here, but I probably don't have enough for it. Alright, or no, it's six. Where did I think I saw four? I don't know. I think I'm losing my mind. Oh, wait, no, it, it required four to operate, but it cost 16 to build. That was the, uh, the, this thing up here? Oh, yeah, the pump station. <clears throat> Let's see, so I need 500, okay, so I need a lot of, let me just get another vat. So I need a lot of the Yellowstone. So yeah, I'm thinking of having... Um... I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure. Well, I'm thinking, okay, so I have like, I, I'm thinking of having like lines of stuff. So I have like a long line of, um, so like, uh, like extraction channels. So I would have like, so I would like use the coolers as well. So I would actually probably need to turn this into. Uh, a destroyer thing. I will have to get rid of this guy here. But I need more of the Yellowstone stuff. Because I want to get that, uh, get the next pump. should have held off on that. Dang. I mean, it's not a big deal, I guess. Let me just fill those up. I didn't realize it needed 256, but I guess I just didn't pay attention to that. I don't know how that went over my head, but somehow it did. Yeah, the sound effects in this game are insane. Wait, these corners I am going to have to get rid of, I'm realizing. Like these things, the bats. Because if I'm going to be having lines, I'm, I need to put them somewhere else. I need a different spot for it. Oh, 
Wait, I can do that now. The only problem is, the thing is so slow to actually destroy it. Maybe I don't even need the coolers. Because it's going so fast that I might not even need those. Like, maybe I could put, like, the stabilizers there instead. And then have the things in the front be what destroy it. I'll probably need that to wear out, though. But, that should be fine. I need somewhere to put the recycling tower as well. I'm going to be doing lines. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to get a spot to put, like, some random things. Maybe I'll just have it like this, and then kind of have this side be, like, where I don't really do anything. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll put that there. Yeah, like, this is so slow. I'm talking about the thing to break it is really slow. Um, obviously, the pump station is not slow at all. thing do it reclaims from liquefied presence of catalysts. What does that mean? I do not fully understand what that means. So do I just put this wherever? Hmm. Okay. Wish you could like pause things. If I could pause it, then I could like do stuff. Look at cube sixty four hundred times. Nice. Thing isn't even clean. 
close to being able to sh being destroyed yet, or uh, being out of fuel yet. Uh, um. I might destroy it and just put uh, another entropy resonator there. Now there's two of them going. Yeah, I don't imagine you can stack them, right? That's not how that works? Okay. That generated like 300, I think, or something like that. It generated a lot. But yeah, I wish you could like just put things on top of things. Can you? Wait, can you do that? No. Um. Because otherwise, it's going to put a stabilizer there. Oh, wait. Okay, you can do that. Okay. Okay. That works. Get rid of these just random destabilizers that are around. Alright. Okay. Oh wait, yep, gotta fill those back up. There we go. Yeah, now we're in a pretty good spot, I would say. So yeah, we can have those like more in the middle. These, these, these things. For whatever reason, I couldn't think of what they were called. Entropy stuff. Now it'll be going even faster. You know what, I could put the destabilizers here instead, so have them here. That's probably what I'm going to do. Do this instead. What am I doing? Let me put more vats down, because I think I'm actually probably going to need more of these. I'm running out of just normal cubes. Burn to produce and trace amounts of other elements. Oh, okay. Yeah, somehow I'm, like, running out of just, like, basic resources. L literally basic resources. 
the most basic of the basic. Eventually, are these cubes just going to be completely the beta piling, or like, what's going to happen? I get another extracting channel. Probably going to put it here. Yeah, put it there. And then I can put the auxiliary pump behind that. But I need, do need more of the just of just normal resources. The Blackstone. Um. Need more of this stuff for the for the pump station. Oh yeah, I need to destroy that. Oh and this and that. But I'll have these stuffs here. Like around the back. Around the back of these machines. Okay, got more of that stuff. Um, put that there. I need. A, oh, you need a lot. you needed so much, okay. Let me get another one of these then. Um, how much is a industrial? Okay, I just need more uh, Karenite? Char Charonite? I don't know how you pronounce it, but... I need a lot of this, of the red stuff. I guess I could just have this thing start running in producing stuff. Um, okay, hold on. Channel cooler there. I need a destabilizer there. Get a get an industrial stabilizer there actually. Get a don't need that. I need the entropy thing. And I'm missing this stuff. Okay. I I definitely need that pump. What am I missing for that? Uh, just more of this for black, black stuff. Of course. It's always the freaking black stone stuff that I'm missing out on.
Oh, that ran out. Okay, refill it. That's what I mean by I wish I could have something that like auto refills or something, you know. I think I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna try to save up for the pump. Like the pump station. I think the pump station's gonna be better. Oh, but I need more of this stuff now. Which is fine. Oh my gosh, these cubes are almost completely red. There we go. We can throw that in there. Now we'll see how that goes. Oh, gotta refill those, gotta refill these. I don't have enough yet. Running low on a lot of resources right now. The thing that the, my biggest worry is that you definitely could get to a point where you don't have enough resources for things. And you could just be entirely screwed. And you'd have to like start completely from scratch. Not completely from scratch, but. I mean, I guess you could sell some machines and then get resources back and then try to go from there. But yeah, if you ever get to a point where it's like you can't, like, you run out of, like, uh, Elmerine or Quanantite, uh, Purple Stone and Yellowstone. If you ever run out of one of those two resources, then, like, fully run out. Like, you don't have a machine that's, like, like, you have zero, but you have a machine that's going to produce some after, like, some time. Like, you need to make sure that you're going back and forth between your resources. Because otherwise, yeah, you're screwed. I'm just curious, like, how much of the trace amount of other elements that this thing is going to produce. Because, yeah, it says, like, oh, yeah, it's going to produce a lot of the carom caramite. 17k. And that produced, uh, or no, I think these things produced produce the Elmerine, but, wow, that was a lot of that, okay, well, that's exactly what I needed. Now let's get uh, a couple of entropy resonators, I keep pressing that button, I keep pressing escape when I don't mean to. That is crazy good, wow. Okay, how much is... What am I missing? Still more Karenite. Keep running out of that stuff. Everything is so expensive. Yeah, I mean, I just need to destroy this stuff faster. That's all I need to do. I forgot to refill these things. That will probably help out a good amount. I'm not infinite, so I should really invest in those converters for a new mine. Yeah. The yellow and... I would say that's purple. Didn't you say that was purple? It's literally called purple stone, but now it 
Dinko Blue. Okay. Maybe he's colorblind. I don't know. going still the material streamer tower I feel like that's going to be a good way of producing infinite resources because does channels resources be a stream there can only be one so like is am I, how many resources am I going to have to put into that or is it like does it just generate resources for free does it I'm not, I'm not too sure about that one. I have to kind of check it out See how it goes. I need a lot of the the uh, beta piling for that though. So even though I don't really want everything to get for get converted into beta piling, I kind of need it to. Trace amounts of other elements. So I'm, I'm curious what it means by, or like how many, it, it, how many other resources it produces. Like how, how much of this quantite and El, elmerine will it produce? See, I wish, I do, there is one thing that I wish it would do. I wish it would tell you how many resources it's going to produce. I don't know if there's a way of actually checking that, but, like, uh, does it tell you maybe in this? seem like it talks about like what it does not really yeah okay again auto refill really would be nice I guess I guess I, I can't really get too greedy with my wants and needs. Like, also gonna try to save up my beta pylene so then I can get this material streamer tower. Nickname like call it like Pokemon or something. It's a streamer. That was a really bad joke. It wasn't even funny. Um. Okay. Eight, almost 800 meters over here for this. Now it's up to 800. I wonder. Is there anything else? Because these rocks are just fully red at this point. Like, I, I gotta get something when I when it hits, like, a thousand meters, right? Like, I'm gonna get another resource. Or is this just, like, is this, like, the final resource? Or is there more? Or... Is something gonna happen? Like, I'm, I'm not too sure. Maybe I should try to get another extracting channel. I don't know. I'm not sure what entirely I should do right now. I'm not sure what the best strategy is here. Pump stations are definitely worth the investment, though. As you can see from how fast things are going. So it's definitely worth it. Um... curious if there's a better strategy for this like is there something that produces materials faster than than the way that i'm doing it there probably is 
I just don't know about it yet. So yeah, let me let me keep these converters going. Because I'm never gonna run out of the beta piling stuff. So it's not really a worry to be, I mean, because I can just put the, all that beta piling in here, create the Karenite, and then use the Karenite in this stuff to generate Elmerine and one in tight. So I'm not really worried about resources at the moment. I'm just trying to have a backup plan to make sure that I never actually run out of resources. That's why I'm trying to do the streamer tower thing. Oh, that ran out. Okay. There we go. This thing close to running out too. Where's my cursor? Uh, my cursor's lost. I never put the industrial thing there. I probably should do that. There we go. Let me fill those up. Still have enough resources for everything, so I'm not too worried. Any of these need refilling? No? Okay. Really close. Just need 3,000 more. Come on. Yeah, again, this game isn't really a roguelike, but I still find it kind of fascinating. Almost there. Where do I want to put this thing? Am I missing something? <laughs> did this do? Did, does this is this thing doing anything at all? Like, is everything just producing more resources now? That's what it does, it increases the amount of resources that are produced. I'm a little confused. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely a little confused. It's almost up to 900 meters, so we'll see if this does anything once it actually does reach 900 meters. And then I could get another extracting thing. 
think that goes there. Yeah. Put that there. Well, that looks weird. Wait, it's like... Yeah, that looks strange. Um, put this, this destabilizer there. Put that there. We need another one. Let me throw that in there. Yeah, via stream. What is... I am a little confused what this thing is supposed to do. It's so expensive. I was expecting it to, like, just generate resources automatically, but... Um... Yeah, it's definitely safe to say I'm, uh, I'm a little confused. I'll probably just put another one of these next to it. Extracts resources via stream. Okay, so it generates 64... Okay, I'm going to try to keep track of this. So yeah, it generates 64 resources. I remove that. Okay, then it, well, then I, I can't really see how many. Let me see. So if that goes up to 0.83, it does the same thing. Channels resources via stream. What does that mean? Oh, wait, I should probably be. Like, obviously, they're not blocks anymore. They, they go from being blocks to being... Being... Whatever. Okay. Swaps a random resource from an adjacent cube with a hell gem. There is none. Has 32 chances to try to do 32. He refills nearby machines 16 times. I'm just. Hell gem destabilizer, okay. A lot of resources fast and places them further around itself. Okay, my brain is like breaking from this game. I'm I'm a little confused, a little confuzzled. Not even a little, a lot, a lot very much a puzzle. Um I think I kind of understand something, and then I put it down, and it's like, actually, it does this, and you had no idea. I'm like, oh, okay. <sighs> well, I am at least getting hell gems now. Yeah, 
I hope you guys enjoyed today. Uh, you know, I, I, I am going to cut it here. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of uh, 64. That's literally what it's called. That's the game, name of the game of 64. Um, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I mean, the world to me doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.